Well, the month of June has brought some pretty dry conditions for farmers. I spoke to a corn and soybean specialist at Purdue about how the crops are handling this dry weather and also when yield loss could become an issue. For the most part, the crops are okay, and I think it was due to the timeliness of planting. As they scout the fields, Dan Quinn and Sean Castile both agree the early planting season we had has helped the crops during this dry spell. Well, those crops were able to get established pretty well, good root growth, and then we kind of got into these dry conditions. Castile says it's the same situation for soybeans. The ones planted early look decent, thanks to the root system. When you go out and you see that your plants have been well established, you got roots that are down deep, you're in a good situation to weather the storm. Grandpa always said I'd rather have a dry June instead of the dry August and that's where we're at right now. They both agree having dry conditions right now is better than later this summer. That's when we could start seeing yield loss. If you start getting into July and August as those crops get a lot bigger, as we get into you know pollination and tasseling of corn, that's when those crops just get a lot more susceptible to drought conditions. During this dry spell, the crops have had to adjust. They're depending heavily on their roots to get the nutrients and water they need. They're really trying to conserve soil moisture, what water they do have, so then they're not putting much into the above ground growth, but they're going down deep. They're getting roots down deep. For corn, Quinn says farmers will notice leaf rolling. It's actually a defense mechanism where it's just trying to prevent the amount of water loss from that plant. Quinn says you really have to keep an eye on what time of day it's taking place. You know, that drought stress is occurring, you know, in the mornings, day long. It might be three, four days in a row where that's occurring. Then we start expecting, you know, a, a certain amount of yield loss. And for soybeans, Castile says they have the ability to adapt because of the way they flower and develop. They flower upwards of six or seven weeks, and so that gives us a long window to, to adapt with some dry conditions. Like all farmers, Quinn and Castile are hopeful the drought conditions won't continue much longer. As soon as we catch some rain, uh, I think we're going to see a, a really dramatic improvement in the crops across the state. Well, the latest drought monitor map has Tippecanoe County under a moderate drought status.